the grassroots rugby league without losing the footy and down there. There goes the third the ball of the day. <laughs> okay, so hopefully those Marlin boys, the ball boys, will return before the game has finished. As they go on a little ex uh, expedition now, looking for the last ball that's just gone over. Coming back to halfway though, in all seriousness, um, Marlins very, very tidy. They got off to a good start from that um, kickoff from the uh, break, and they'll be feeling pretty happy about that. Bay Roskill got to get back into this game. You know they've been leading it, but I don't think they've actually been playing to their full potential. And they've got to get that um, pressure building. Eh? And with the conversion successful, Manurewa are back even, 14 points to all. And uh, it's a really positive start for Rewa, who conceded late in that first half and looked to have kind of fallen away in the momentum stakes a little bit. So an excellent start for them. And they will have taken plenty of confidence from that as Bay Rosk will get us back underway with a kick down towards the left, which is fielded by Filippo and Tokina now will carry it forward. And boy, he is damaging. Leaves one on the deck and then keeps going. Uh, finished off well in the end by David Dixon, oh. who is uh, shaped like a prop that plays in the centres. And we've got a penalty now for, I think, a second effort, maybe a little lead with the knee there from David Dixon. But he's not getting away with that one, and uh, referee Kasher blows the penalty. So Jesse Filippo will kick for touch. And this is going to mean Manuel will start this set from about 40 metres upfield. So we are now really starting to get the momentum, and it's important now that they make use of this ball, at the very least complete their sets, try and force a little bit of defensive work on Bay Roskill as play prepares to uh, get restarted. Running the ball from the far side. No, nope, this one's come back, so that's good. Here we go. And you're right, Troy, we're running out of uh, footies here with the uh, ball disappearing down the back there, but I think we are back to our, uh, to our full supply. So back underway we go. That's a good carry forward there from I think it was Putuai. Back towards the six, and Tokina again. Boy, he's heavily involved. The big fella, he wants the ball, he wants the carries, and he gets another good one in there as Manuri would go up over halfway. Here's my mate out here on the right edge, too. The big 18, he's slotting back into the back line here. Well, I dare say he won't be far away from the action uh, later in the tackle count as Riwa now head towards the right. A little pump and go there from Kenneth Edmonds. Don't be surprised to see the trigger pulled on him again with a fantastic offload. Here we go. And Ariete oh, now ben. with another big Look carry him, forward, and he's got he's the, still, oh. the, ball, the ball free for the uh, offload, doesn't choose to use it that time, but they head out towards the right now and misses the second rower, but it's the three, Mariota Mariota, who gets the ball, comes through. Do we see a little bobble there? We're going to wait for confirmation. I think we're all okay. And points to the spot. We are good to go. So that is a try there, I think, to the number three, Mariota Mariota. Who received it out there on that right edge and uh, looked like there was possibly a little bobble in there, Troy, but yeah, we've got the try. It was a fortunate bounce back. You know, the ball went against Bay Roskill on that one. Marlin sweeped on it, cleaned up, and across the line, and the points were awarded. So now look at the uh, the Marlins as they're streaming, uh, striding back to their to their kickoff, as the uh, you know, cameraman sort of keeping an eye on the boy guys about to kick the conversion. The Marlin boys are blowing hard. They're looking very, very happy with themselves. And um, I think a few of the big units there are certainly uh, making their presence felt today uh, whilst they're here at the home of the, uh, the mighty Vikings. And, Troy, we didn't see Manuel play like this at all in the first half, really. Um, they struggled to get their big men involved. And they struggled to make ground. But this has been an excellent start from Rewa. They've obviously got a, a fair talking to at halftime from their coaching staff. And uh, as we wait now... For the kick to come through. So the big unit, he doesn't even stay for the big chats. <laughs> he just goes back down to the line and he's, um, you know, he's sucking it in and blowing it out. He's getting ready now just to turn around him. And, and Simmons great does convert kick. from the angle. Yep. So they will take a six point lead into this one now. And Manuri were now firmly in control of this one, you feel? I'm trying to find his name on the team sheet here. No, and as I mentioned earlier, no, okay, Troy, there is, uh, okay. there's, well, right, well, there's been a jersey change, so we can only guess these mm -hmm. Khan Ariiti, but uh, perhaps we'll just refer to him as the big fella. The big unit. Yeah, and he's loving it. He's actually having an absolute ball out here today, ladies and gentlemen. And, and, I, and I, you know, I, I plead, if you're in the area and you want to come down and actually see some entertainment today, come down and join us here. Bay Roskill up against the mighty Marlins. 
and um, you're going to see some fast, hard running it straight. And here they come again. And speaking of another excellent forward for Manurewa, Tokina now with a carry forward, and I've uh, put the jinx on him, I think. No, I haven't. We're going to get a penalty. Looked like it might have been a knock on there, but uh, overturned in the end, and they uh, get the penalty. And he's just off to the uh, left of the screen there, our big unit, our mate. He's loving this, ladies and gentlemen. He's absolutely reveling in it. So the ball, they get an award and a penalty. He's just about clapping his hands and singing and laughing, and he knows they're going to start strolling down the field, and he's going to be involved in another set, and I think we're going to see a steamrolling run and a massive fend with an offload. Here they come. And I do apologise for Troy's slighted session with, uh, with props. Uh, he is, of course, a, a former front rower himself, I believe, at some point in his career. Also a goal kicker, I believe. So uh, Troy does have his favourite players, and he loves nothing more than a big mobile Ford who's got a few skills. So uh, you will hear plenty about the Ford pack. And to be fair, Manurewa's Ford comes. pack have been excellent. And as we mentioned that, here's our man at the moment. Arieti gets the offload away and swings out to the back door now. And Sharma is tackled. And the dummy half comes, Hikatanga Hiko. They spread it out towards the left, and Filippo misses one out. Good tackle in the end there. I think it may have been from Alex Tuala. Back towards the sticks now. Filippo with his hands on the ball again. It misses one out and finds Kenneth Edmonds. Edmonds now out to the back door again. This is nice play, but met in a hard tackle front on by Sifa Hooky Hooky. Edmonds into dummy half, back out towards this left edge. Filippo puts one high, and it's into the shadows. Let's see what Bay Roskill do. Good Safely hands. fielded, and a nice end there. And Troy, that was important that Bay Roskill survived yep. that one without uh, another set having to defend or, uh, or even tries. Good reset. He's chewing up the meters here. Yeah. And just it. had confirmed number 18 is Khan. Genghis Khan. He's absolutely had a great day today. And here comes Bay Roskill now. They're trying to. Um, Get metres down the field and get themselves into a scoring position. Looking at the score line, who would have thought? 20 Marlins, 14 to Bay Roskill. And um, Bay's now really got to start mounting some pressure. And they're doing just that. Vi Vi plays out the back door. Great it's a ball. big cutout ball. And they've isolated Matthew White, who's away down the wing. Edmonds is chasing, not going to get there. What a reply from Bay Roskill. And a lovely ball out the back from, I think it was Ezekiel Paul. Isolates his winger, Matthew White. And from there, Troy, just too fast. Absolutely. Big, strong winger, that guy, mate. And um, as you said, too fast. He got around the outside. I don't even think they got a hand to him. So um, just as we said about Bay Roskill trying to mount some pressure now, it was all going Marlin's way. And they'll get ready now for the kick at goal. Boy, what a game it's been. It's been close throughout. We've seen some entertaining rugby league. The errors have cleaned up in the second half. The penalties have cleaned up. And I can't wait for this final half hour. It's going to be excellent. Both teams really starting to uh, to find their feet now, and we mentioned, you know, through the qualifying rounds, these were the two best sides in the competition. They both went through with just the one loss. Um, they've both shown some excellent form already, and it's starting to come out now. And we could be set for a tied ball game here with the kick to come from Corey Vogel in his first year at this level with the Bay Roskill Vikings. Of course, he's got a number of Fano in the team, cousins and brothers, and. Uh, I think uncle and dad involved in the coaching staff as well, I believe. So it's a real family affair down here at Bay Roskill. A graduate, I think, of the uh, God Squad, the Prems 2 side here at Bay Roskill, who have had some famous players playing for them over the years. I think Ben Henry's come through there. Uh, Jerome Rapati, who we saw a few years ago, as Vogel strikes the ball and it's just curled away to the left. So Bay Roskill will trail by two points. Uh, but it's a really even ball game here. It's going to be interesting. The next few sets are going to be crucial. If one team can start to get the upper hand here, you feel this game might change in its shape. So Bay Roskill will get the first chance to establish themselves as Manu Rewa are going to get us back underway. And just mentioning the uh, the big fellas here for Rewa who have done a really fantastic job. They're also playing some big minutes with the reduced bench. They are down to three on the bench. So a couple of the big boys, Troy Odesse, having to play bigger minutes than would have been planned for uh, midweek. Mate, if they um, keep going the way they were going in the first five or ten minutes of this half, I think the big guys will grow a big heart and they'll get, keep the enjoyment up, keep the energy up, and um, they won't want to let this um, you know, get away on them, let it slip. However, saying that, Bay Roskill now, they're going to start growing a wee bit of confidence, and um, I think you're going to see them coming out of their half hard and strong. And one big thing around today's football, Corey, is having the big boys run it hard and run it straight all day long. 
So Bay Roskill now coming up to around halfway, and there's a little high shot there, so that's going to help their cause. I think it was Paul caught high a little bit. A little apology there from the offender. So Vogel will kick for touch. He's going to hand it off to Paul, in fact. And there's a new place for the ball to go missing over the other side <laughs> of the clubhouse. Okay. Guys are getting ready now to reset. We've got ball boys all over the park at the moment. Some are in the bush, some are out in the car park, some are over on the far side where the field's closed. But here come the Vikings. Whoops. A little false start there. And keep an eye out for the number 19 female, Tolly Lau. He looks like he's hungry for a carry here. And uh, Jonathan Weir is going to get us back underway. And they are, in fact, going to go to oh. Lau. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Completely <laughs> disregards the uh, first up tackle from Tokina. The crowd love it here, and now Bay Roskill will need a quick play of the ball here and work it out towards the left. Jonathan Weir, boy, he has been fantastic today. The crafty little number nine goes on a little dart. Tackled well, and I think he might have been shaken up a little bit there. It was under the tackle of Ratu Nagal, and Jonathan Weir feeling the effects of that one a little bit. He's back up on his feet, which is good to see. I think we'll get play on here. Indeed, we will. Paul now shifts it out to Leela Vaivai, playing that first receiver role. Once again, good carry forward from Mackenzie Cutter. Ball spills out the back door. It's play on at this stage. Vogel gets it, puts on a little bit of footwork. Now heading down the short side. They need to be a little bit careful. Stay away from that sideline at this point. Onisau Polimau, I think it is, with a little dart out of dummy half. A little bit of footwork at the end there, but Manuri were at this stage scrambling well. Yeah. And Troy, that ill discipline is starting to come back in a little bit. Maybe a little bit of fatigue. They've been made to do a bit of work in the last few minutes. Manurewa and starting to take its toll. There's Toli Lau now with another big carry. In fact, it's Mackenzie Cutter. And you can see Leela Vaivai here again, situated at first receiver. He's got the 13 on his back, but very much playing as that sort of third oh. playmaking option as they get a big carry forward here. And there's bodies under the ball just held up. Oh. Referee scored yeah. a penalty there. Offside yeah. there, never got square at the ruck. Now, what would you do here, Corey? Would I'd you be take keeping, the two? Or I'd be run? keeping the pressure on for sure, Troy. I think there's a fair few tries to be scored in this game yet, and uh, I think you keep the pressure on, and indeed they do, with Leela Vaivai now playing at the line, and Tolly Lau palms off the first one. They're not far off the line here, and there's plenty of talk going on from Bay Roscoe as they attack. The bank end of the ground here offloads out the back to Paul, who dummies. He's back towards the middle. Excellent scramble from Manurewa. And they're holding off at this point. Vaivai now heading out towards the left edge. Another penalty, and we're going to have a little Crazy. chat. I think we've Crazy. probably saw about four penalties in a row there, Troy. Manurewa yeah. perhaps rather cheekily there, just preferring to go with penalties rather than being outnumbered. We see it a lot in the NRL these days as well. Uh, better to concede a penalty than an overlap on the edge. Uh, but the well, captain's going to get talking to. The Vikings get an opportunity now to sort of get a, a set move on. Um, I'm just a little bit conscious that kick that was waved away earlier from the, you know, is that two points going to come back to haunt them? I guess we're about to find out. So Jonathan Weir gets us back underway, and Tolly Lau with an excellent carry, but Manuri were to their credit getting there in numbers, and this is excellent football from both sides. And there we go, there it is. It had to come at some point. We have a Sinbin, repeated penalty offences on their line for Manuri and we do have a Simbin. We just wait for confirmation of what number that is. It looks like it's the number 11, I think. Ratu Nagal. Or is it or 17? 17. I apologise. Andrew Farton, uh, a veteran of the Auckland Rugby League scene. Of course, he's played Fox uh, with Howick and Mangari East over the years. 37 years of age and uh, gives away Great the penalty team. there. Sent to the Simbin. So now Rewa under some real pressure as we get another penalty. <laughs> 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 and boy... If they're not careful, they may get down to 10 players here, Matthew Rewa. So how much more of this can they take? Seems like Bay Roscoe have had the ball for the last five or six minutes here as Paul now gets it. And remember, they do have the numerical advantage. There's got to be a gap somewhere as Vogel breaks it first. Hands it off to Dixon, who heads back inside. He's a big, powerful guy. They get there in numbers. This defense from Matthew Rewa is incredible. They're getting there in numbers, scrambling really well. Again, offload out the back door. There's got to be a gap on the left. Oh. Get the ball. <laughs> what about oh. the cover defence? You have to come down here, folks. This game is on fire. Jonathan Weir now gets the ball. Dummies offload out the back. There's a gap out here on the left. They can get the ball there. It's found White. White evades the first. Oh, Manuri with him held job. on. 
What about the defence? Take your hat off. Manurewa Marlins, they've, con they've held out about six minutes without the ball there. They're a man down. And the scramble, Troy, to get there, bundle them into touch. The second phase was going from Bay Roscoe, but they keep getting there in numbers. They are going to take a lot of confidence out of that one. I don't know how many penalties there were, wave after wave of sets. And I come back to, Corey, that two points. I hope it doesn't come back to haunt them. Well, in hindsight, you, uh, you take the penalty, but the time that just seemed as if Bay Roscoe had all the momentum. And once Manurewa had the man sent to the bin, Andrew Fartum, uh, you just felt like Bay Roscoe were going to get over there. So that is tremendous work. And it's not that Bay Roscoe weren't attacking well, because they were. They were going side to side. There was second phase. It had it all. Here come the Marlins now running it hard out of their 20. They'll have a wee bit of um, positiveness around their uh, team now. And um, they'll take some, uh, you know, some big credit out of that um, defensive effort that's just gone on over the last five to ten minutes. They've got eight minutes to survive with fewer players. Uh, really important that they hold the ball here, complete their sets. If they get a penalty down this end of the field, I'd be tempted to take the two, chew up another two minutes off the clock. Uh, so we'll see what happens there with Manurewa. But in the meantime, they're not content with just playing defensive footy. They are running the ball hard up over halfway now as we approach the back end of this tackle count. And Filippo gets it, hands it off to the big fella. This is the 16, Kenneth Edmonds. They take it up towards the sticks there and gets the ball out the back door. And Tokina now has the ball in his hands. Takes it forward, runs it really well. Great. Dummy, Great he's through. Is he going to get there? He is. <laughs> Fantastic play from the big number eight, Junior Tokina. Oh, the sideline's going crazy. It's been a big day for the front rowers down here. Even the people in the crowd are going off. Absolute stellar football. And, Troy, the character of this Manurewa team to defend like they just did for numerous sets to get the ball and then have the, the presence of mind or, I guess, the bravery to still attack, not just finish the set, get a kick away. Tremendous stuff. And then Tokina, well, is just great individual skill from the big fella. Gets it. I think there's a little dummy in there, I think. Maybe a little step. Uh, step, go, you know. showed the toe, and over. Underneath the post, four points. Thank you very much. In fact, as I look at you, Corey, it'd bring a tear to a commentator's eye. You, you've, you've, you've welled up there on the right eye there. I think there's a bit of... Is that moisture? I think it is moisture. Even you are happy about the front rowers I doing think all the magic. We'll go with hay fever as the excuse for that one, <laughs> Troy, although, uh, you know, <laughs> rugby league does bring out all the emotions as the siren goes to, I think, mark uh, the final 20 minutes of this one. That's Nathan not Simmons an acknowledgement around the, the bin, no? Not too sure, actually. Maybe the person uh, with the scoreboard controller just got a little bit bored and... But they'd add some music. And certainly, uh, well, the Manurewa fans are making plenty of noise, so maybe Bay Roscoe felt like making yep. some of their own. And isn't it, isn't it funny, eh, in the ebbs and flows of the games as they've gone through, as we're waiting for the kick to come, how the body language has all changed. Now, look at the Marlins. They're over there now, and they're in an intensive chat, and all of a sudden their tails are up now, and they're getting ready for the next kickoff. And the kick is good. And crucially, that takes it up to a two-score lead, Troy. Uh, that try may well be the one we look back on as the sort of turning point in this match. And yep. if you've only just joined us down to 12 men, Manurewa, for the next, I would think, six minutes or so, uh, and they reply like that, survive a big defensive stand and reply like that with a really good try to Junior Tokina, who's 20 years old. He's played his 16s previously at Ellerslie and played 18s at the Mount Wellington Warriors. Of course, a famous club have brought through some really good players the Mount Wellington Warriors. Most recently, Carlos Tomavave, who's playing over at Hull FC now. Wow. So, uh, and Troy, you'd, you'd, you'd know a few of the uh, boys who have come through that club in the past. They're, of course, not competing at this level anymore, but uh, hopefully they will get back to there at some point. Of course, uh, previously, the last few years, they've dominated the old third division, the uh, Fallon Shield, which is now joined with the Shaman Cup. And now Tokina, following his try, Great hit. returns the ball, but that is a fantastic hit. And hero to zero, just like that, I guess. Yep, so Marlins have got to go back to work now. They've got to roll their sleeves up and get straight back into the grind in regards to holding out Bay Roskill. Bay Roskill, as you saw there, body language changed again. There's a bit of blood in the water, and they're going to be keen to, to complete a set of six. And I think um, part of the magic for them is going to be have fast ruck speed, get the big boys on a roll. They're down here in the uh, danger territory, and um, let's see how well the Marlins go in this, uh, this attacking segment. And I think for Bay Roscoe, you, you probably have to score on this set. They've still got the, the advantage in terms of playing numbers with the Manurewa man still in the bin. 
So they probably have to uh, to find some points at the end of this one. And so Vogel now will head out towards the left, and he passes to another Vogel who puts a step on. He's got around Simmons. Oh, and that is a wonderful piece of play, and it is a try indeed. Well, Troy, when he got the ball, it looked like there was nothing really on. Showed some excellent pace, and then survived the hit at the end. Excellent try. Boy, we have been treated to some individual skill here today in the Auckland 2nd Division. Fantastic try here in the Crown Lift Trucks Shaman Cup. And it is likely going to, well, at the very least, it's going to pull his side back to within four points. Kick to come from the sideline. And we go down to an absolute nail-biter now. You know, there's um, still good minutes on the, on the scoreboard clock. And um, it will be very, very interesting now to see how both teams play it. And we've got uh, one of the Marlins players coming back very shortly from Bin. And, um, and I dare say, with probably the last five or ten minutes to go, we'll see big Genghis Khan come back out again, and he might weave some of his magic as well. So as we wait for the kick to come. And if you are watching this and enjoying it as, uh, as we are, um, be good to your friends and share it on social media, because they'd probably like to enjoy this one too. This is an excellent game of rugby league. And I'm uh, glad that you can join us today, and a fantastic choice for the game of the round, even with... About 17 minutes to go, uh, you get the feeling we're in for an absolutely thrilling finish here. It's been close the whole way through. Uh, momentum has changed hands a number of times. It's been a hard game to get a read on in terms of anyone dominating, mostly because I guess no one has dominated as such. It's, uh, it's been close throughout as we wait for the kick here to see if they can close that gap a little bit more. And it's Vogel off the tee from the sideline. It's a decent kick, but it is a little bit to the left. So it will remain Manuri with the visitors leading 26 to 22 over Bay Roscoe. We've got about 16 minutes left in this half. And Manuri were about to get back to their full complement of players, which, uh, which will only help their cause. If you are watching today, and especially all of the, uh, the players, families, friends, cousins, relations, you know, no matter where you are around the world, the replay of this game will be up on the Auckland Rugby League YouTube channel, our ARL TV channel. So please search for that and you'll be able to go back over today's play and see some of the massive hits that have taken place. Just a fantastic game of football. <coughs> Marlon's getting ready to set now. And, and uh, unsurprisingly, Manuel were in no rush as they, uh, I think, wait the final minute or two to get their man back. Good and catch. Right down the back, and it's a spirited carry back off the kickoff, I think, from our big fella, Sioni Vakautu Kakala. One of the hardest names in rugby league to pronounce, uh, but he's a fair player, a former Mangani East player. He's been with the Vikings since 2012. And some of the forward efforts today have been excellent, as that's a good carry from Sifa Hoki Hoki. So edge up towards halfway now, and Bay Roskill now, the team with a little spring in their step, as Xavier Tutaki carries it forward. Former Calston Boys High School representative. Shift out towards the right with touches from Khan Roberts. One of the survivors from uh, the Fox Memorial days at Bay Roscoe. Now there's space out on the right here and he's got the offload away. Might be just short. I think he might have got there. It's a try and Bay Roscoe strike again. And this game just keeps on giving. The hills come alive. The scores are starting to creep again together. This is going to be an absolute cliffhanger. And that was a nice little bit of play there again. A situation where it didn't appear there was uh, too much on. They go down the right, a little bit of second phase, and they get there. And if you're Manurewa you at this point, you're wondering what, what's happened. Uh, you know, on top, only minutes ago, having scored a try to take it out to a two-score lead, and now all of a sudden could find themselves behind if this kick goes over. I think it's Corey Vogel that's going to attempt the kick again. In fact, Matthew White's running over to take the ball off him. So uh, we've, <laughs> we've seen a few changes of kickers today. And, uh, and to be fair, we haven't seen too many of the extra points added. So Matthew White's going to attempt this one for Bay Roskill. And it's not quite from the sideline. Probably, I dare say, five metres or so in from the sideline. And it's on target, but it's short and just falls behind the right upright there. So, tied ball game, 26 points to all. Manurewa Marlins versus Bay Roscoe Vikings. Manurewa now, I'm pretty sure, back to their full complement as we see Andrew Farton back onto the field. So, 13 minutes to go, Chief, and uh, we've got a 26-all a game. 
Marlins are about to kick off. Could you have picked this earlier today? Well, no, you wouldn't have because it, it seemed like one of those games where penalties or errors were going to kill one of the sides. But to their credit, both these sides showed up defensively and, uh, and executed when they needed to on attack. And as a result, we are set for a stellar closing 13 minutes here at Blockhouse Bay Reserve as we get a big carry off the back fence here and Bay Roskill now get their chance to keep momentum. It's important they complete this set. And that's an excellent carry from Mackenzie Cutter. The 20 year old prop fighting in that play of the ball. Jonathan Weir back towards the sticks. Xavier oh. Tutaki now on for his second stint of the game. Saw him come on early in the first half and on again now to help the cause. Ezekiel Paul heads out towards the left edge. Dummy sticks his nose through. Nothing doing at that stage. He's stolen the ball. He starts one on one. What's the referee said? It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one strip, I think, or we may have a Bay Roscoe error. Either way, it's a Manurewa ball. And that's not what they needed there, Bay Roscoe. They just finally wrestled back momentum and now turn over the ball cheaply there. They'd done really well up until then. Only three tackles. They'd gone about 50 metres. So that one does hurt. And they'll pack down the scrum about 40 metres out from the line. Kenneth Edmonds is going to feed it. So are we about to witness yet another change of momentum, yet another change of lead in this one? We are locked at 26 all as we approach the final 10 oh. minutes of this one. A huge hit. And a discussion going on. We're going to have a scrum pack down, Troy, and I think this is going to be a Bay Roscoe wall. Aaron Kesher, the referee, man in charge in the centre there, unfazed by any of the... Uh uh, the noise around him, he, um, he made the call early and uh, calming everyone down as they get reset now for another scrum. And isn't it great to have a referee of Aaron Cash's experience here? Of course, he has drifted at the highest levels domestically and uh, fantastic to have him down here. And of course, if you are interested in joining the Auckland Rugby League referees, all the information is available on aucklandleague.co.nz. Uh, it's a fantastic way to stay involved in the game, I guess, if you're a former player or if, uh, if you're someone who's not interested in playing but love their league, uh, do get in touch. They're a fantastic organisation, the, uh, the referees. Uh, there's a great social aspect to it as well. So all the information available there on aucklandleague.co.nz as we get back underway here. And Bay Roskill do, in fact, have the feed and move it out towards the right. And it's a good tackle down low from Filippo. Back towards the sticks now and wait for the big fellas to get involved. Mackenzie Cutter looks hungry for the ball. The big number 20, Jonathan Weir into dummy half. And he will shovel it out to the left. And it's Mackenzie Cutter. Attracts one, two, three, four defenders. And gets the quick play of the ball. Crucial there. Out towards the left now. Ezekiel Paul with the ball. There's numbers out the back door. Dummies and six his nose through. I thought he probably should have. Troy, there was numbers out there. But that will go again. Jonathan Weir now into the bottom of the ruck and they head back towards the sticks. Misses out Tutaki and instead finds the number eight, Selwyn Fale. Wentworthville Jr. over in Australia. Jonathan Weir good out of tackle. dummy half. Put the little kick through. And that's a good option, Troy. Smart play there from the hooker, although... Turn over. I'm wondering if the ball may have hit the deck there just before the kick. It looked like it was a clever little dribble through from where we were sitting, but... So Mullins get the get out of jail card, and it's all going to come down to the last. Um, regardless of the clock showing on our TV screen, we're looking at the uh, clock on the main grounds here, and it's nine minutes to go. Oh, oh, that was a big all just in regards to that Marlins player slip. There might have been an ankle injury there. Is he going to be okay to get up? Uh, some, yeah, no, he's going to be all right. There, it looked like um, he hurt himself in that, Corey. Just fell awkwardly. Yeah, he did. and Just fell into the tackle a little bit, but good to see him back up onto his feet. As they work it out now, up towards halfway, and Andrew Fata now with the carry. Met in a big, strong tackle from Xavier Tutaki, and uh, there's a fair few years between the two players involved in that one. Uh, Xavier Tutaki. Great run. Great run. Just finished high school, and Andrew, of course, a, uh, a veteran of the Auckland Rugby League scene. As Manuri will now go deep into attacking territory and they work it out towards the left. Justice Ariiti tackled about 
15 metres off the line, back towards the middle, and a Filippo puts it high, and there's plenty of numbers coming through from Manurewa, but it's safely fielded by Matthew White. Matthew's racing it out of the end goal area, he's taking the quick tap, and the referee pulls him back. Yeah, it's off the mark there. Unfortunately, that is a, it's an error that we see a lot in the NRL as well, Troy. The boys get so excited, they, uh, they don't quite remember where they need to take the tap from, uh, so he calls play back there, the referee, Kesha, and we're going to stop play here. Marlins player down on the background. Yeah, someone there. down in the background there. I think it may be Hikatanga Tahiko. Not too sure there. Looks like potentially a shoulder injury or something there. So, mate, as we look at the clock now, that's starting to become a factor in the game. You know, we're, uh, we're locked up. You've got to wonder how much influence can the captains have now in regards to, you know, executing the plan. And um, it looks like it's the 14 going off. It's an interchange. Yeah, the physio's come on. He's leaving the field. As I look to the far side, and do we see Big Khan getting ready? Is Khan coming back? And what an introduction that would be at this point of the game. Any impact's going to be much appreciated. Referee getting ready to put time back on. And As we said, just to reiterate, our clock on TV is not what we're running by. We're running on the uh, scoreboard clock on the main ground area here. And we do have a little update from the SAS Fox Memorial Premiership for you from uh, one of the games today. And we've got Papakura, the defending champions, leading the newly promoted Te Arata Roosters, 46 points to four at this point. And that's a big and, day uh, at the office for the Te Arata Roosters. Yeah, and that game, of course, will only have the best part of five minutes left as well. There's all the other Fox Memorial Premiership games going on today. And do keep an eye on AucklandLeague.co.nz for all the uh, reaction and results from that one. As we see a little chip over the top from Vogel, but the chase isn't up to it. It was a decent little kick, uh, but Manurewa survived. So scores still locked at 26 all. And Troy, at what point do you think you start potentially here looking at a field goal? We've got seven minutes to go on our clock. Do you take one early or, or look for that try? Um, all of the above. I think at this point, you know, the <laughs> game the game has been um, toing and froing now for you know, the best part of the whole bloody match. And, um, and uh, you know, what's determining now is we're just looking back into the sunshine over here with seven minutes on the clock. Marlins are trying to get as much steam on. Oh, he's... That's... Going to end on a penalty. Unbelievable. Lucky no, there. He's um, pulled back. He's going to take it as a penalty. Yeah. And this is their opportunity right now, right here. Here come the Marlins, and can they do it? So the kick for the sideline, and I dare say there'll be... My pick, there's going to be two big forwards settle it here and they're going to go to the edge. So Jesse Filippo kicks into touch. They're going to start this set about 30 metres off their line. We'll see what Bay Roscoe have got defensively. It's a good first up tackle on the 12. Manurewa, Giovanni, Ligo Galua. Really? And an error. That's just like, you know, crazy That is a coach stuff, killer and man. you're not That's even a coach. Stuff. Oh, and that one hurts, Troy. You know, they really had the ideal opportunity to ice the game there. And even if you don't get over the line for a try, you force a repeat set or, or look at the field goal. Um, I mean, we would have error on tackle one. Count two under that. Crazy so. stuff. So, Bay Roskill now will feed the scrum, and the message going out will be hold the ball, hold the ball, complete the set. That's what it's all about as they. Shuffle out towards the left, but they're not content with uh, a little settler to start with. They're going to give the ball some air. They need to make that tackle effective. Finishes with Alex Tuala, the yeah, carry. They rolled him over on his back. Bay Roscoe screaming for the quick, fast ruck play ball. And you wonder if experience comes into this. I know a lot of the Bay Roscoe players are in their first year at this level. Manurewa, although they're young, possibly have it over them in the, uh, in the, shaman, in the uh, experience ranks in terms of shaman experience. Bay Roscoe now head up towards halfway. Leela Vivi, the captain, takes it forward, leaves one behind, gets a quick play, the ball at the end of it. Jonathan Weir shuffles it out to Ezekiel Paul. They can see a gap here on the edge, but perhaps smartly, Alex Tuala heads back infield rather than Protect risk getting bundled into touch. 
Not quite in field goal range here at this point, you wouldn't think. Vogel now shuffles it out the back. It's a terrible pass from dummy half. Untidy. And he's put Jonathan Ware under all sorts of pressure. Does well to get the kick away in the end. And it's a high one out towards the corner. May have been knocked on by Manuri. We're here. We wait and see. Both ways. I think we will have a Manuri. It's getting frantic the ball. now. They need to be patient and yeah. have some control. Both sides, eh? That's right. Yeah. It is, uh, it's getting to that point of the game. Whereas we mentioned earlier, experience is going to count and, and which team can stay composed. So Manurio will have the play of the ball. And we have about four minutes left on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute thriller here in round one of the competition proper of the Cronulla Truck Shaman Cup. Manurio and Bay Roscoe locked at 26 all at this point. As we head into the final few minutes and Manurio with the ball. Potential high shot. It is a high shot. Manurio with a penalty. Huge call coming up here. They're going to kick for touch. It's out of conversion range. So Jesse Filippo is going to kick for touch. And if it's not a try, surely they're going to look towards a field goal here, the Marlins. The ball boys here look on. Boys, we're going to see a field goal. The ball boys reckon field goal. Troy, what's your money on? I think they're going to go for the line. Here comes Khan. He wants another try or at least an offload and put someone one of his boys in. Don't be, don't be surprised when they pull the trigger on him. Here comes the big unit. And Justice Arieti there. They're caught inside and surely you take the two here. The message coming from the sideline. Lots of finger pointing going on. Surely you've got to take the two here. Yeah. And think... actually the, the penalty's gone the other way. Wow. So we do apologise for that. The penalty's gone the other way. Pay Roskill have just been given two get-out-of-jail-free cards in a row. First from a Manurewa era, and then Rewa somehow, and I think it must have been an obstruction, have conceded a penalty. So with two minutes to go, Bay Roskill may well get the last say in this one now as they work it up towards halfway. This game has had it all, ladies and gentlemen. A roller coaster of momentum as Mackenzie Cutter takes it up towards halfway, and the message will be no errors, no errors. Let's hold the ball. They head out towards the left edge, and they're still playing footy. There's none of this one out stuff as Vogel goes to the line. Tuala beats one, beats two. Eventually, how does he get the offload away? He does. Oh, oh great hands. <laughs> they're still Ezekiel going out Paul. of the broken play. He's gone. Ezekiel Paul still goes, shuffles it out. There's numbers here if they can get it there. It's gone out to Polly Mao in the corner. Polly Mao, he scored, I think. On his side, Polly Mao in the right hand corner. He has scored the try. And that, I feel, will be the game. There is about a minute to go here in this one. And the Bay Roscoe Vikings have struck the killer blow. Looks like there's a few Vikings on the hill. Wow, and what a what an effort there from Bay Roscoe. And it all started with Ezekiel Paul, Troy, you mentioned during the play. He broke a couple of tackles there, was able to keep play alive. And eventually it just sucked guys in from the uh, Manurewa left edge. Created that gap out wide. And uh, on his side, Polly Mao, that's his second try of the game. I think he scored the match opener as well. And that one, you would think, will be the game. And in fact, we've got a matter of seconds left on the clock. So it is going to be the game, ladies and gentlemen. So the Bay Roscoe Vikings last year's Crown Lift Trucks, Shaman Cup, runners-up, loses to Tiaratu. And the decider, they're going to start their season with a victory over Manurewa. And the Marlins, desperately unlucky in the end there, although they shot themselves in the foot with a couple of chances to kind of steal the game down this end of the field. They came up with an error. They came up with a penalty conceded. And now they pay the price as we wait for the conversion, which is a formality for points difference only. But Bay Roskill have stolen this one at the death. Well done to both sides. An absolutely fantastic game to start this second division season. And there's a bit of a Viking clap starting on the hill here. Oh, can we, after this kick, can we get a, can we get a, a visual on some of that, guys? The conversion's gone. I do not think there's a single person in the place that cares about it. Because the Bay Roscoe Vikings have secured their first victory, ladies and gentlemen. And you're probably picking up on the speakers the Viking clap. Which has fallen a little out of tune, I dare say. But it doesn't matter. The Bay the Roscoe Vikings, Vikings they have their first victory of the season in round one. Manurewa 
unlucky losers in the end, uh, but that's the way footy goes. You take what you get in terms of opportunities, and the Bay Roscoe Vikings in the end took full advantage with an excellent try to Onisai Polimal in the corner, so they take the two points from this season opener. Troy, an excellent start to the season. What a, what a fantastic game of football. And, um, you know, for the, uh, for the sponsors of the Shaman Cup, Crown Lift Trucks, um, to be involved with a match of that standard, you know, as they came into the, uh, the championship sort of um, seedings being sorted out, you know, top of the table, we've got um, uh, just a fantastic match. As you see the guys there shaking hands now with um, uh, the players at the end of the match. And uh, we're just making a bit of room here now as we arrange to have a captain's interview. And... Um, uh, as we we're saying, you know, it's been a, a great game of football. Um, we've seen some classy backs do some pretty tricky stuff out there on the um, edges. Um, there's been some speed involved. And then, of course, you know, we've talked about the big unit, Khan. Um, but all of the front rowers for both sides, uh, the second rowers, they've certainly run it hard. They've run it straight. And um, they've taken no fear in regards to bashing into one another and bending the line. There's been some massive hits today. And um, it's just been a thoroughly enjoyable game of rugby league. And, um, you know, big ups to the hosts here today, to all the volunteers that have um, helped out around the, uh, the Bay Roscoe Vikings Club. Just been a fantastic day, and um, the weather's been certainly turned it on for us down here. Again, want to say thank you to the Auckland Rugby League. Uh, the board that made it possible to be able to bring the live stream um, to the Shaman Cup games and also be looking to unlock some real cool games with the uh, women in league matches, which will be coming up later in the year. Corey, um, who's been commentary with myself here today, Troy, Troy Hardy, is um, heading over now with um, a couple of the captains and they're going to be having a, uh, a wee bit of a chat very shortly. And um, uh, as I said, you know, it's been a fantastic day down here. There's been some wonderful hits, some great tries, and it's been a cliffhanger right down to the last 60-odd seconds where the game was decided. As we get ready to cross over shortly, um, once again, big thank you to all the volunteers. Thank you to Crown Lift Trucks, who sponsor the Shaman Cup. And um, we're about to go live as we cross over now to Corey. Yeah, thank you, Troy, and we're joined by the defeated captain today, Jesse Flipper. Jesse, uh, a heartbreaking finish in the end there, mate. What were you thinking when, uh, when the try went over at the finish? Oh, mate, I think like every captain, he'd, he'd be de devastated. But, um, yeah, look, full credit to the Bay Roscoe boys. They really gave it to us out there. And, um, yeah, mate, just disappointed, eh? A game that uh, either team could have won. But, uh, yeah, credit to the Bay boys. They, they deserved it in the end. Sweet. Your side survived a couple of periods of, uh, I guess, toughness there. You, you lost a guy. I think you had to play with a three-man bench for most of the match. Uh, you had a sim in there. Plenty of character showing from your side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you're always a man down in, 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 in any team, you know, you've got to lift. And uh, I thought the boys pretty uh, did well to adapt to that. Uh, but, yeah, oh, what can you do, bro? <laughs> what are the uh, positives you take into next week? Um, oh, look, man, I... Like I said before, bro, when we're down at 12, the boys really adapted and, um, yeah, really showed on the field. But, um, yeah, look, I, I thought our defence did it well. I thought we probably could have did more with our attack. Didn't really show out there. But, uh, yeah, again, credit to the Bay boys. You know, they, they did well and they deserved the win. Thanks for joining us, Jesse. All the best for us this season. Sweet, bro. Thanks. And now we're going to move across uh, to the victorious captain today, Leela Vaivai. Leela, thanks for joining us, mate. What an incredible game. Uh, just talk us through the emotions that were going through the head uh, when uh, I think it was Onasai went over in the corner there. Oh, I think it was, it was nerve-wracking. Um, I think we took it in the last few minutes. But we always knew it was going to be a hard game. Um, we were a strong team, so uh, we predicted everything, and um, they, they lived up to their expectation. It was a game where momentum changed several times. Did you at any point feel like you guys were on top, or did you always feel like it was kind of hanging evenly in the balance there? I guess I went to the um, top teams by play each other. It's all about the grind. And I thought if we grind the whole 80 minutes, we'll get that win. And I think we just itched them in their last few minutes, as you saw there. The effort from some of your forwards today, uh, guys, young guys like Xavier Tutaki, uh, your forwards were excellent today. Uh, uh, they were. Um, we were both our, our big forward pack, and we had to meet them. You know, So credit to my boys, and an uh, awesome game from Rewa as well. You did have some tough matchups in the grading rounds. Was that the hardest game of the season so far? Yeah, uh, to be honest, that was. Um, but we expected that, you know, going to this week. We knew that we were going to come with uh, uh, the 100% effort and 
that's what they did. So credit to them. Leela, what are you wanting to improve on for next week? It was obviously a good performance, but I'm sure there's some work ons. Uh, what are they? Oh, I guess the penalty count here, I think it was about 20 to 2. I don't know if Keisha loves his whistle, but uh, yeah, I think we just tied up our errors and our penalties, um, and then we'll just play game by game and take it each, uh, week by week. And just finally, uh, the local crowd you get down here, mate, they were excellent. Looked like they really gave you guys a, a, a little lift near the end of that match. Oh, yeah, credit to our crowd. Eh? They, they turn up for us um, everywhere we play, uh, whether it be home or away. So um, rap, I'm wrapped about them turning up today. Leela, thanks for joining us. All the best for the rest of the year. Oh, cheers. Thank you to ARR for hosting us. Thank you. And thank you to both captains for joining us. Uh, we'll throw back to uh, Troy in a minute. But Troy, uh, I guess the captains pretty well summed that one up. Uh, an even game, and it was just a, a game of opportunities. Uh, Bay Roscoe took theirs at the end. Absolutely, and uh, they come away with the victory. You know, congratulations to the um, the Bay Roscoe uh, Vikings. Hard luck to the Manurewa Marlins. They made it very, very tough, especially in the first five minutes of the game kicking off. However, that said, it's been a fantastic game of rugby league down here. Uh, big, big thanks to uh, one the Crown uh, Sh Crown Lift Shaman Cup sponsors, and got mouth mouth tongue tied there as we've got a few guests sideline. Um, good to see young Sal and Pearson there helping with the bolsters as they pack away, you know, uh, the gear down here at the um, Vikings home ground. On behalf of the Auckland Rugby League, thanks for joining us. See you all next week at another league match live action courtesy of the Auckland Rugby League. Cheers.